Welcome learners. This is the second video lecture of the unit consumer attitudes and uh, this one is your uh, from consumer behavior marketing specialization of MBA fourth semester course. So uh, in this video lecture basically we will discuss about different uh, models of consumer attitude and how attitude can be changed. So first we will start with uh, strategic models of attitude. There are basically four strategic models of consumer attitudes which are tri-component attitude model, multi-attribute attitude model, the trying to consumer model and then attitude towards ad model. So we will be discussing these models one by one. First we will go to the tri-component model. So here basically three components are there as the name indicates cognitive component, affective component and cognitive component. The cognitive component consists of an individual's knowledge or perception towards few products or services through personal experience or related information from various sources. This knowledge usually results in belief which a consumer has a and specific behavior. Then comes our second component that is effective component. The second part is the effective component. This consists of person's feelings, sentiments and emotions for a particular brand or product. They treat them as the primary criteria for the purpose of evaluation. The state of mind also plays a major role like sadness, happiness, anger, stress and all these factors influences in uh, the attitude of a consumer. Then the third component is your cognitive component. This consists of a person's intention or likelihood towards a particular product. It usually means the actual behavior of the person or his intention. An individual can get affected by the environment in which he lives, his culture, his social class, his psychology and his personality also influences. Then we will go to the multi-attribute attitude model. As the name indicates, there are multiple attributes which influences in our attitude. So it portrays uh, consumers' attitudes with regard to an attitude objects like product, service, catalog, direct marketing or idea as a function of consumer perception and assign assessment of the key attributes or beliefs held with regard to the particular attitude assessment. The multi-attribute attitude model, it portrays consumer attitude with regard to an object, attitude uh, towards a product, service, catalog, direct marketing as a function of consumer perception and assessment of the key attributes or beliefs held with regard to a particular attitude objects. Although there are many variations of this type of model, but basically uh, like uh, we will discuss of three types. One is the attitude towards object model, then attitude towards behavior model, and then uh, the theory of reasoned action model. So first I will discuss the attitude towards object model. This is specially suitable for measuring attitude towards a product, service or category or a specific brand. According to this model, the consumer's attitude towards a product or specific brands of a product is a function of the presence or absence of an evaluation of certain product specific beliefs and uh, or certain kind of attributes. Thus, our consumers have favorable attitudes towards those brands that they believe have an adequate level of attributes that they evaluate as positive or negative. Then we will discuss the attitude towards behavior model. This model is designed to capture the individual's attitude towards behaving or acting with respect to an object rather than attitude towards the object itself. So this model corresponds uh, closely to actual behavior compared to the attitude towards object model. And then the theory of reasoned action model. So this model presents comprehensive integration of attitude components into structure 
that is designed to lead to both better explanation and better predictions of behavior. It consists of all three elements like cognitive element, affective element and quantitative elements like tricomponent model but are arranged in different patterns. Then the uh, theory of trying to consume model. So the theory of trying to consume model focuses on a purchase situation where the action or act of behavior in terms of actual purchase is not uh, certain and may even be sometimes in future. So as per this model, the action or act of behavior is directed towards a goal. In such process of trying, okay, the resultant outcome cannot be predicted for certainty. Then we will go to the another model that is our attitude towards ad model. So this model lays emphasis on the impact of an advertisement, either in print or in audiovisual, on the formation of consumer attitudes towards product services or the brand. Once exposed to an advertisement, a consumer forms the cognition, that is knowledge, about and the effect a component of the attitude. It leads to judgment about the ad and the feelings from the ad. The cognitive component leads to belief about the brand as well as attitude towards the ad. The effect component also leads to belief about the brand as well as attitude towards the ad. Thus, both the cognition and effect component affect the consumer attitudes towards the ad and belief about the brand. A mere exposure to the ad can also lead to belief about the brand. Finally, the belief about the brand as well as the attitude towards the ad leads to the development of an attitude towards the brand. So the theory behind this model states that consumers form judgment and feelings as a result of exposure to an advertisement. So not only does a consumer uh, form attitudes towards the advertisement, he or she also forms an opinion towards the brand. Research has shown that the model holds good for new product and service offerings than for existing one. So for new products, when the consumer will have positive attitude or negative attitude towards a particular uh, product, it, this model helps in uh, gaining a positive attitude towards this uh, product or brand. Then uh, we will discuss how attitude can be changed. As uh, like we know like attitude, okay, we can form attitude either through direct experience or through social uh, influences. So attitude changes are also learned. There are different uh, like attributes which influences in attitude change. Like strategies of attitude change. Changing attitude is generally very difficult. The major at, uh, attitude changing strategies for marketers are changing the consumer's basic motivational function, then associating the product with admired group or events, then resolving uh, two conflicting attitudes, then altering attributes of multi -attitude, uh, attribute model, then changing consumer beliefs about competitors' brand. So some of these factors we will discuss in this uh, video lecture. First, suppose we will discuss changing effect. One approach is uh, try to change the effect, which may or may, may not involve getting consumers to change their belief. One strategy uses the approach of classical conditioning. Try to pair the product with a light stimulus. Suppose uh, one person, uh, one particular person, he or she doesn't like a product. He or she has negative attitude towards a product. Then what uh, the marketer can do, they can uh, add some component, uh, suppose some celebrity uh, they have endorsed whom this person likes. So by uh, using this kind of classical conditioning theory, he or she may have uh, changed their attitude towards a particular product. He or she may started liking the product because of the uh, celebrity endorsement. Then changing behavior. People like to believe that their behavior is rational. Thus, once they use a product, chances are there uh, they will continue unless uh, is able to get them 
to switch so someone unless someone uh, like okay make them okay to switch the product they will try to use the same product then changing belief although attempting to change belief is obvious way to attempt attitude change particularly when consumers hold unfavorable or inaccurate ones this is often very difficult to achieve because consumer tend to resist like uh, whatever belief we have it is very difficult to change our belief but if marketers have uh, proper strategies suppose uh, earlier a customer doesn't like a product he, he or she has negative attitude towards the product but if the marketer changed that particular product maybe modified the product and if uh, they were able to change the belief of the customer like now this product is better the better version of this product has come to the market so then he or she may like the product and they may change the belief so that's all about this video lecture in this video lecture basically we have discussed about different uh, consumer attitude models like tri component attitude model then multi attribute attitude model then trying to consume model and then attitude towards the end model and then at last we have discussed how attitude can be changed like attitude changes are influenced by personal experiences and other factors different forms are like strategies for attitude change different strategies are there like changing affect changing behavior changing beliefs all these factors influences in changing the attitude thank you